Hey, we're Foles and you're at Glastonbury 2010. We played here in 2008 and um, we've been wanting to like play again since then because we felt like there was more to squeeze out of it. There's still more love to give. Well, you came here before though. What was your big memory? Uh, my big memory? I don't know. Um, watching Mumford and Sons yesterday. It's just kind of been there and it's always um, had good lineups and it's got a special atmosphere and there seems to be something that is um, is actually positive about the the feeling here rather than it being like constructed positivity. It's just fun, isn't it? You get to come and you get to forget who you are for three days and see lots of music and um, you know maybe meet somebody that you fall in love with or if not just to have a jolly good time. I uh, would recommend Wild Beast. Wild Beast. Pulled apart by horses. Holy fuck. Uh, Stevie Wonder, obviously. Snoop was great yesterday. Hopefully, we'll make another record. Yeah. Soon, hopefully. Yeah, it's going to be called uh, Thug Punk. Thug Punk Part 2. <laughs> it's going to be like West Coast hip hop meets skate punk. Like Lag Wagon meets Ice Cube. Somebody said that. Um, Stevie Wonder's blind and he can still play, so what's wrong with Bono's back? He's standing too close to the edge. For Michael Evis's birthday and for the anniversary of Glastonbury, yeah, I'd get Monica Bellucci to give Michael Evis a golden shower.